What's going on gamers? It's Dream Killers representing Mad Mastermind. Hope everybody's doing well today. We're out here on the muck grind controlling the Jacksonville Jaguar squad. Our opponent is controlling the Cincinnati Bengals squad as we get a huge user hit stick on the goal line. I think that was Ronnie Lott laying the wood as we get the ball back. This is actually the opponent's Super Bowl, so we're trying to be a spoiler for him. He was actually successful in his last game, or I wasn't successful in my last game, rather. I was streaming earlier today and was actually in my playoff run and actually took the L. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording. I find that the quality is subpar, plus I got all like the little theatrics down there with the camera, the, the overlay and everything, so didn't think it would make for a good YouTube video, but I did take the L, man, which is a bummer, so we actually had to start up a new season, so we're going to try to persevere, though, and keep it moving. Anyhow, uh, you can see here, we're fighting on our side here, down on his goal line, nearing halftime, we're actually getting fourth down, make a boneheaded decision, try going for it, plays good defense there, actually holds me to zero, so that's all bad. And he's going right back downfield. He actually had a good little scheme. I mean, he had RG3 at QB, was running a lot of under center, which I was proud of my man for doing. And his big thing, you know, that could have been user picked right there. And then he tries rolling out, throwing the C route. That should have been yet. So that's two in a row. Normally that equals bad things, but you can see here, not a lot of left, not a lot of time left in half. So we send some heaters and sack him. You can see he was rolling out to the right a lot. So we started sending the weak slant three at him, which normally keeps those mobile QBs contained. Uh, but again, he still he had a good scheme, and he was running uh, some stuff that you know just kept me on my heels. And I think in the second half, he actually switches it up, starts rolling to the left a little bit more. So it turns out to be a good game, man. Definitely stay tuned. Real quick, I wanted to give a special shout out to my man Freakless from Wisconsin. We were actually uh, talking, man. I don't even know. It's probably been a week. Um, but it's been slow on videos. I had it recorded on another one, but I, I can't even find the video. I don't know what the heck happened to it. I thought I had already uploaded it. I tried checking my recycling bin, but it wasn't in there. But anyhow, I, am, I had done the Vic set because I got all the collectibles pretty cheap. So I was going to sell it, um, but then he had hit me up. I guess he pulled the golden ticket Odell Beckham, man which is a huge card in the game. You know, I know there's a lot of new fans of Odell Beckham since he had such a great year. Guy's definitely an animal, man. Uh, but he was hitting me up. He was asking me if I knew anybody that had wanted him. And I said, you know, I don't, man. You know, really the only big time card purchaser I know would be GS. And since he already had him, I didn't really know what to tell him. Uh, and then the other thing with those big name cards is, man, they seem, no, all the cards, but you know, especially those big name ones, man, they'll be worth, you know, one point something mil, and then it seems like they're worth half of that in a week. And I just can't afford to take that type of hit. You know, I'm not big YouTube money like GS and Mav and stuff like that. So, anyhow, you know, I told him, you know, I really couldn't do nothing. Uh, and then probably a couple hours later, he asked me if I wanted it or asked me if I wanted it, I guess. Um, and I told him the only card I really had of any value to him probably would be Michael Vick. And, you know, so we actually did a trade there. I know I came out on the on the positive end there technically. Uh, but there wasn't much I could do with Beckham, man. I tried playing a couple solos with him to try to get the uh, cards for uh, who, whatever Ultimate Legend was out that week. I think it was, I don't even know who the heck it was, Larry Allen and somebody? Anyway, Marshawn Lynch. But I just wasn't having much luck, man. Uh, you know, he's definitely an animal, but he doesn't fit in my scheme that well. I don't really have a need for a slot receiver. I feel like that's where he would play best at. However, I got Reggie Wayne there. He's a great value receiver, in my opinion, for you know how much I utilize that uh, third receiver. So I had to pass that up. Uh, you know, we ended up selling that, but again, I came out ahead of what he would do with Vic. So shout out to you, Freakless man. Um, he's from, again from Wisconsin, man. So good stuff there. And then earlier on, I was actually looking for the flashback Revis. Anybody, let me know down in the comment section if you got Revis or any of your flashback players, which one you got, and if they're any good. But, you know, I wanted to pick up Revis just because this is where he's quitting out, man. And then my man Axeman from Australia hooked it up, man, for 700,000 coins, which was a good deal at the time. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for watching all the way from Australia. I'm Dream Killer signing off for Mad Mastermind. Until next time, we took his Super Bowl away, so we're happy. Good night.